Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. You are watching Mainframe Cobalt Tutorial Part 14. So today in this video I would like to share or tell about COMP1 and COMP2 and COMP3. That is the computational usage. So this is mainly used for uh, for storage purpose. I mean in order to uh, I mean the best practices of uh, storage using using comp computational usage. So this uh, this is my continuation videos uh, regarding I mean earlier videos I was show I was explaining about comp and uh, I mean the usage of comp and uh, display that is one of the storage activities. Uh, this in this uh, comp one and comp two I will be explaining about the details of this. So these are coded without picture class. So this is the first important point that these are coded without picture class and mainly used for constants. Next one, COMP1. Let's go into the details about COMP1. This will store data in 4 bytes. Floating point, uh, that is it is stored in floating point and the results and results the rounded value. So if you are trying to expect some values like 4.0078, you know, it, it rounds off those values and gives the accurate value. Uh, not accurate, I mean the rounded value, that is 4. So it stores data in 4 bytes, nothing, nothing more than that. So COMP2, it will store the data uh, 8 bytes in hexadecimal form and the results are more pre precise value that is 4.786 and 4 3.456 and so on. So COM3, it is a packet decimal usage and which occupies one digit or half byte of the storage space. So for example, and uh, I will be telling you the example how the data stores for COM3. It allows the decimal values which does not occupies any extra storage space. So this is mainly used for I mean, for uh, specifying the numbers. Uh, for example, uh, example 01 WS number picture class uh, is 9 of 7 COM3. This is for example of COM3. So if uh, this is the seven, 7 bytes, right? And it has some symbol, as S symbol. So 7 bytes means off of the 7 bytes it will go to 3.5 and the remo uh, remaining 0.5 is for sign and totally it occupies 4 bytes. The next example would be if you are taking off 8, so 8 half will be 4 for sign 0.5. So in order to round off this, the extra 0.5 bytes will be added. So it will make 5 bytes. So that's the reason I say using it as it is a packet decimal usage which occupies uh, one digit or half byte of the storage space. So these are the points, important points about COM1 and COM2. So how do we use it and uh, why do we use it? So these are mainly uh, used for uh, defining the constant numbers, so which are constant. So I mean it will save some storage instead of defining lengthy, uh, I mean lengthy uh, 9 of 10 or 9 of 8 variables. Uh, uh, for, I mean, in order to avoid the uh, effectively use this for storage space, so you can use uh, COMP1 and COMP2 and COMP3 this, uh, for this. I mean, that is mainly for constants. So, for so thank you so much for watching this video. I will be coming up with more and more videos about uh, different global topic. That is, that would be uh, sorting, extra uh, sorting, and uh, many other file operations. Practically, I, I would be. I, I would. I'm also uh, started posting about. Uh, I also started posting about the practical videos tutorial that is connecting to the ter mainframe terminal and uh, I will be giving you some live examples how do we practice it and everything. So stay tuned to mainframe tutorials. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great and pleasurable day.